hard to be someone else All we want, all we want is please Giving us, giving no time to breathe This is our identity Thank you.
Welcome back, everybody, to tonight's matches. First up in our doubleheader tonight, it will be Aquinas Maroon versus University of Wisconsin Stout. It is their B team, their A team, currently number one in the in Group J, which is what our white team is competing in. So A team pretty good right now. The B team is sitting in a two and five record, or two and five. I got messed up right off the bat. Two and two record. Aquinas will have offense to begin the game. Rye guy coming up on this. He's gonna look for a pass off the back wall. He cannot find it. Gold zone to stop that. Maybe a shot from Stocks. He can't get to it. Now he has to race all the way back. Oso's gonna have a shot, but he misses the ball. And now Gold Zone will just kill that into the corner out towards Rye guy, who's gonna actually send that off of Potato Purifier. Gold Zone with a shot opportunity, top right into the net, and Aquinas will go up 1-0 first. Just all the way down, Gold Zone taking that shot right in the top right corner, exactly where you want to place that. Aquinas finds the lead in game one. That kickoff just a little bit too far up for Gold Zone. Now he's gonna try to play that off his own corner. Gold Zone can't get the flip, now Go Stock's gonna come up. Gold Zone was looking for a ball, backflips into that. Rye guy cannot clean it up. Gold Zone will hit that as he hits the ground. Trying to get around on this, he's in an awkward spot. He gets it past Potato Purifier and is able to get it past a Rye guy who leaves it up. Now Stock's flicking that up over one, but Oso is there for the save. Potato Purifier with very low boost will do what he can. He gets one last touch, but Gold Zone there to stop that. It's up for Stocks to look for a hit off the back wall, but it stopped. Rye guy towards middle. Gold Zone cannot find the shot. Now Potato Purifier still with no boost. He does pick up that 100. Hell of a shot, but Stocks. Able to stop that good demo on Gold Zone. But Oso is not there in time, and Rye Guy was able to catch up to that. He'll get another touch redirected into his own corner. Double commit from Aquinas that goes off the back wall. Gold Zone just stealing that boost. Tito Purifile. Purifier will get a dunk. Axel not able to catch up to that. Rye Guy going up now, maybe a pass down to Gold Zone using his flip. Oh my gosh! Gold Zone. <laughs> Flipping upside down and finishing it off for the goal. What a pass from Rye Guy too. Oh my gosh, nothing Oso can do on that. Aquinas finds their insurance now up 2-0 in this. Rye Guy off into the corner. Oso does not get a good touch. He ends up back passing. That's down in front. Gold zone racing in. But Axel does get a very good touch to keep it away. Stocks up, able to hit that towards the back wall. Axel up for that. Clear out, only goes as far as Gold Zone. Now off the corner, Rye Guy looking for a chance. Gold Zone reversing again, gets a pass mid, but Axel's there first. Stocks forced to retreat. Does not get a touch. Gold Zone's got a turn. Actually, Rye Guy does. He'll try to push it past Stout, but he cannot. Now it's off the back wall. Awkward. Rye Guy's got a backflip for the save. Oh, so with a shot into the net, and now University Wisconsin Stout is able to cut that deficit in half. Rye guy cannot get a good enough clear, and Oso sees that and immediately takes advantage of it. Off kickoff, that's going to go towards the blue corner. Stock's going up for this. He'll play it off the corner. Oso does get a touch. Brett or Gold Zone coming up on this. Rye guy looking for the rebound, cannot clean it up. Potato Purifier was up on that. He'll still get an opportunity as Gold Zone. Pushes that back towards the side wall. Oso's there first, now gold zone again. Axel will back past that. Now Stocks is gonna look for something. It just pushes it towards the net. Easy enough save for Potato Purifier, who now gets a touchdown field. He hits it towards that back wall. Gold zone trying to clear it out. Cannot get it out far enough. Oso will take this. Axel with the shot. Stocks is up for that. So was Rye Guy. Now gold zone the only one back. Great save, stops that goal. Potato Purifier, that's gonna be down for Axel to take a shot, but instead he hits it towards the wall. Stocks sending that up. One is bumped, but Gold Zone gets enough of a touch. Now Stocks finally getting that out. The Blue Devils are starting to find more pressure. Pass to Gold Zone, but it's too much. And he can't get the goal, but another pass towards the mid. A bit too far back into the corner, and Stocks bumps Rye Guy. Gold Zone just holding back on that. Potato Purifier off the corner. Good challenge from Stocks, but that ball straight to Oso. No more boost, can't do anything. Axel 
leaving it down. Stocks not pushing up on that. Maybe didn't have enough boost. Ryguy's demoed. Now an opportunity if Stocks can get the flick. He cannot, but he takes a good dunk to keep that offense going. Gold zone pass to Ryguy. He's going to look for another pass back to Gold zone. Cannot get the redirect in. One minute remains. Aquinas still only up by one, and the Blue Devils have found up much more pressure. They'll have more right here. Oso sending that downfield Gold zone. Sending that back towards the wall. Potato Pier fire. Good clear out as Stocks misplays that. Now Ryguy forced to turn on this. He doesn't get a touch. Stocks has no boost. Shot in Stocks with that zero boost. Cannot catch up to it. And we are tied up with only 41 seconds. Ryguy needed to get a touch there and he didn't find it. That leaves Axel with basically a wide open net since Stocks had no boost. And the Blue Devils will tie it up. Aquinas had the pressure early, and they still have pressure. They're just not finding the goal as often. Great pass from Stocks. Ryguy was up to really good back pass. Now Gold Zone will take a shot too high, but Potato Purifier gets it anyway. 30 seconds remain in game one. Ryguy back passes that. A little bit dangerous. Stocks not a good enough touch. Ryguy trying to send that out as far as he can. Stocks going to keep going back. Gold Zone will look for a clear. He gets one. Potato Purifier back down towards the mid. Gold Zone's got to come up on that and he does off the side wall. Axel didn't get a touch. Now Gold Zone, if he can catch up to it, will have an opportunity to pass it towards the mid. But Potato Purifier had a great touch. Still an opportunity from Aquinas with zero seconds. Rye guys up for this. Takes the shot, but it's wide off the post and we will go into overtime in game one. That's favorable for Aquinas. Rye guy off the side wall. Maybe a bit too much for him. Does get a touch, but so does Potato Purifier. Now back into that corner. Stocks looking for another touch, gets one. Oh, so hits that straight up. Gold Zone is up for this, using the last of his boost to push that toward the back wall. Misplay from Potato. Nothing seems to happen. Gold Zone without any boost. Stocks is gonna look to do something, but Oso will send that down. He'll get another touch, but that's actually not good at all. For Stout, Ryguy looking for another touch. He does not get it. Axel's there first. Stocks off that side wall. Pass towards the mid, but a demo on Gold Zone. Stopped that offensive set from happening. Stocks landed awkwardly. Gold Zone's up early for this, sending that over towards Stocks. He's going to look to take this up the side wall. Try to get a pass mid, maybe, or take a challenge. He gets a demo on one, actually. Now a two demoed. 3v1 for about a second, but nothing can happen. Good challenge from Gold Zone. Can Ryguy get to this in time? Stocks off the crossbar. Oso up on this. Still in the offensive half. Potato finally gets that cleared out. Gold Zone will. Turn on this, get one touch, lands in a bad position, gets a good touch towards Stocks. That is challenge. Now Gold Zone up for this, maybe a little bit too early. Still gets a touch in Potato to kill that Axel up as well. Good challenge from Ryguy to shut that down. Now Gold Zone up for this, gets a clear down. If he can get a dunk, he can't, but that's down for Stocks to take a shot. Top of the net in, Stocks wins it in game one for Aquinas. Minute and a half of overtime, but that bad touch from Potato leaves it for Stocks to bang it in right by Oso. Aquinas will win game one, three to two. Great job from Aquinas. They got two goals out early before University of Wisconsin Stout started to come back. They're forced to go into overtime, but they do it a minute and a half in stocks with an absolute banger of a goal. Wins it for them. They will head into game two with the 1-0 lead and quite a bit of momentum. That's got to be killer for your mental if you're stout. You had it. You came back. You tied it up with 41 seconds left, but a minute and a half in stocks wins it, and now you're down 1-0 in game two. They will maybe have a chance to start the game as Axel will take a shot towards the net. Stocks cannot get up to that in time and Oso gets the redirect into the net to go up 1-0. Axel passes it. Was going to be in anyway as that was by Stocks already. But Oso gets the security and Stout goes up 1-0. Oso will be up for this. Gold Zone cannot take a dunk, but Ryguy now up for that. Tries to hit it towards Stocks. Can't get a touch. Stocks does get it by one. Potato. Stocks waiting on the wall. Kills that for Ryguy, who takes a good dunk. Tries to get it back. Stocks trying to take a challenge. 
Axel sending that out. Gold zone misses. And that's off the post and in. Aquinas down 2-0 very early in this. Aquinas just seems to be out of sorts heading into this game a bit. That shot will just roll all the way down. Bang off the post and in. Right guy, his kickoff didn't quite work. He mostly missed the ball. If he even got a touch, Stocks has to retreat on that. Axel getting a touch. Maybe looking for a double tap. He will get a pass down to Potato. That shot is high. Oso coming in. Try to pass it back to Potato. Nothing happens. Now off his own corner. Oso looking for a teammate. Potato is there and Stout is rolling in this. Forget what I said about losing momentum. They are storming back in game two. One of two things can happen when you lose a game like that. You can either just fold over and start to give away goals, or you can get angry and come right back and give it right to them. It's exactly what the Blue Devils are doing now. 3-0, less than a minute in. Ryguy doesn't get a touch. That's an opportunity for Axel, but that's wide. Potato will now have a chance on this. Stocks with no boost. Bumps Ryguy as Ryguy makes the save. Ryguy forced to do it again. Stocks. Just waiting on that gold zone. Gets a good redirect downfield. That is to Potato. But finally pressures off. And Aquinas can try to get something of their own going. Gold zone's going to be up on that. Double commit stocks. But Rye Guy cleans it up either way. And now down 3-1 are the Saints. Trying to make a comeback in this. I thought it was over. But I didn't realize Rye Guy was pushing up on that too. Despite stocks going after that with gold zone. Off kickoff, Stocks will bang that downfield. off the ceiling. Rye guy off the corner, maybe for Gold Zone, who is just rotating back. He will turn on it, though. Maybe look for another touch himself. Maybe a double tap. Oh, my gosh. That's the vintage Gold Zone that I haven't seen since spring. The double tap. God. Oh, you can call this a triple tap if you want. Off the ceiling, off the backboard, and it hits the ground and in Gold Zone. Now down just one. Oh my goodness. Off of kickoff, Potato will have that. It's bad touch, Stocks has a shot opportunity, it's wide. Potato doesn't get another touch, that ball just dead. Good challenge from Gold Zone, Stocks blows right through Potato as Gold Zone's gonna look for a pass mid. Rye Guy will take a redirect, but that's into the corner. Good pass to Stocks, but Potato sending that down. Gold Zone's forced to retreat. Axel cannot get around on it to take a shot. Rye Guy coming up on this to clear it out. Stocks off the wall. Maybe a pass down for Rye Guy or Stocks himself. Actually, they both committed. Cold Zone picks up that mid. Rye Guy with a good stop, but that ends up being a pass to Axel, who's going to send that wide. Potato in an awkward spot. Low boost should not have gone up for that ball. Rye Guy looking for Gold Zone on a redirect. It's wide. Stocks. I think pre-jumped that and was not able to catch up to it. Rye guy back into the corner. Oh, so taking that up. Gold zone. Just sending that back in. Stocks now with an opportunity. He's going to try to get another touch. He cannot. Rye guy. Ball straight towards the net. Makes a good save off of his own backboard. Gold zone has to avoid a demo. Potato wins the challenge, but he doesn't win it against Stocks. Gold zone bumps him out of the way. Now it's sent all the way down. Oh, so playing that off of his corner. We'll try to send this out. Has no boost. Cannot get another touch. And another Blue Devils player tried to come up on it. Now they have an opportunity, but right guy doesn't quite get a good pass. Works out for Gold Zone. Now a pass back towards the mid. Stocks is there. Challenge won by Potato. Right guy coming back on that. Chooses to back pass it to Gold Zone, who gets bumped. Cannot follow up that touch. Stocks trying to turn. He will play this out a bit straight to Potato. Rye Guy's challenge goes off the corner now. Axel taking a shot. Gold Zone cannot be there, but that shot is high. Stocks taking a great challenge to stop that ball. Axel now. Good challenge from Gold Zone. He's going to look for a pass somewhere, but he doesn't get enough of it. Rye Guy. He's going to look to do something. Maybe a team pinch. It doesn't work out. Gold Zone forced to retreat quickly. That'll roll up of his uh, roll up his own backboard. Going to look for a challenge off of Potato. Cannot get one. That's up for Rye Guy. Maybe look for a double tap himself, but Oso does get a touch on that. Gold Zone turning back. One minute remains. Aquinas still down by one. They've started to get much more pressure. 
Gold Zone passing it back to Ryguy, who's going to send that up. Ryguy gets bumped. Stocks waiting for that touch. Now he plays it. Axel will hit that back. Ryguy back towards mid. Wins the challenge. Looking for a pass down to Gold Zone. That shot is wide. Stocks coming in. That's wide. Gold Zone over to Stocks, and they still cannot find it. Misplays from Stout, but now a clear will go all the way down. I hope that's wide. I can't tell. It is Axel Ryguy clearing it down. Gets another touch up for Gold Zone. Trying to play a challenge. Now that ball towards the opposite side. Ryguy will pick up that 100. He'll take it off the ceiling. 10 seconds remain. Gold Zone taking a shot. It's going to be wide. Can Ryguy get there? No, and Sox can't either. Now Aquinas will have to march all the way back down. It will stay up. Axel hitting that all the way towards the other side. Potato will knock that down, and Stout will take a game, winning game two. That game sort of similar to game one, but in reverse, in this game, Stout had all the pressure towards the beginning of the game before Aquinas started to storm back. It's just you give up three goals that early. You give yourself too big of a hole to dig yourself out of. They did score two to bring themselves back within the game, but it was not enough. They were not able to pick up that last goal. We will head into game three, tied 1-1. One, one. Both teams having good games so far. Gold Zone with a very early demo, trying to set the pace. Stocks over to Gold Zone, going to look for a redirect. It's off the crossbar. Stocks knows that's going to be saved. Now he'll go after it. Look for another touch. Potato will send that out. Gold Zone just smacking that into his own corner. Potato is challenged by Gold Zone. That's pinched all the way down. It will be wide. Axel doesn't get a touch. Stocks with an opportunity. Demo from Gold Zone, and Stocks will find the back of the net to put Aquinas up. Oh, that's exactly what Aquinas tries to do. Gold Zone finds Oso and completely demolishes him, leaving a wide open net for Stocks' touch to find. Axel sending that all the way towards the other side. Gold Zone cannot get a touch. Stocks has to turn quickly on this. He looks a bit out of position. Ryguy, though, will try to send it out. Stocks able to get it past Axel enough to force him to pass it towards the side. Gold Zone hitting that up. Stocks is going to look for pass down for Ryguy, who's there. His shot is wide. Gold or Stocks, good touch off the wall. Now, Gold Zone with an opportunity that ball a little bit. Actually, that's in. I did not think that had enough on it. I actually thought that was high. Gold Zone just gets enough of a touch and Potato cannot catch up to it. That ball in, Aquinas up 2-0. But a kickoff goal from Wisconsin Stout will cut that deficit in half. We'll have to see what happened on this kickoff. Stocks just misplays the kickoff, could not find the ball. And the lead cut right back down to one. Good kickoff from Gold Zone. He's going to look for another touch. Cannot Axel, though, will clear it out. Axel will win that challenge. Gold Zone is there first, will send it down. Oh, so. Trying to pinch it off, he can't. Now with zero boost, has to try to flick it, and he does. Gold Zone towards Ryguy. That's into the corner, Stocks looking for something. Gold Zone had a chance on that. Now both Ryguy and Gold Zone go after that. Axel will get a touch back towards the middle, but Stocks setting that back into the corner. Gold Zone have an opportunity, he's challenged. Ryguy now up for that, sends it off the corner. Oso misplays it. Stocks over towards that wall. Now Potato up for that, sending it down. Ryguy waiting on the back wall. Gets a great touch out. Axel forced to back up for that. Now he'll try to get another touch out. Stocks turning on this, banging it towards Ryguy. 
He plays it off of Oso. Now Gold's on with an opportunity. Axel will get the touch on it. Stocks looking for another pass middle. Rai guy trying to pass that into the corner. Gold zone up for that shot taken. It's wide. Stocks up for that. He'll try to stay up and get another touch. He doesn't, and Axel sending it out. Rai guy bullying people in his offensive half. Gold zone now catches that ball, leaves it for Rai guy. But that ball goes straight to Potato. It'll slow down on that, and that allows Ryguy to get a chance on it. Now Gold Zone to keep it in. Good demo. Can Sox get there in time? He will. That's so easy to clean that up. 3-1 Aquinas. Great pass from Gold Zone in the demo. Stocks was getting bumped a little bit, but he catches up to it either way, and now up 3-1. Two minutes remain in game three. Ryguy. Trying to get a flick. Can he have enough power? He gets enough power on that flick. Now 4-1 Aquinas. Kills the kickoff for himself. Gets one flick. Tries to get bullied by Potato, but he gets enough on that second flick to knock it in. Stock sending that down. He's going to look to do this himself. Dribbles it straight into the net. Aquinas has found their momentum. Three goals in nine seconds. Stocks gets that last touch on the ball, knocking it in. 5 1 now. Aquinas has found their momentum. They're starting to roll. That kickoff towards Axel, who's going to clear that down into the corner. Stocks will be there for that. Gold Zone going to back pass it. Stocks was up too early, and Ryguy was up. Ryguy forced to back pass it up. Gold Zone's there first, but Axel will have an opportunity on this. Ryguy can't get a touch, and now it's going to be own gold. That ball, unfortunately, bounces off of Stocks and into the net. Ryguy couldn't play that off the back wall, and Potato was looking for a pass, and you could see Stocks knew it immediately. That ball hit him. It was going in. You can't really blame him. Off of kickoff, Gold Zone is there first. Gets a good pass over towards Stocks, who's going to come up on this. Challenge from Potato works out. Axel, bit out of sorts, but now Gold Zone will have to retreat. He'll pick up the 100. Potato will be there. Both Stocks and Gold Zone were up. Now Ryguy forced to get back quickly. He cannot get back in time. And now Stout starting to make a comeback in this. Axel just gets his own touch, puts it on the right side of the net where Ryguy cannot catch up to. Now only down by two. They were just down by four. About 50 seconds ago, starting to make a comeback. Ryguy's touch will be stopped by Axel. He'll look to get a pass out off the corner. Gold Zone flips out of the way of that. If Axel can catch up to this first, he will. He's going to slow it down and into the net. Stout has come all the way back now, down by just one. Aquinas cannot let this happen. They have to figure out how to get back to their own game. 50 seconds remain. Still up by one, but at this rate, Stout... We'll tie it up. They will have a chance as Gold Zone will hit that. It's too soft, and Oso has an opportunity. Cannot get that second touch. That could have been pinched in. Ryguy playing that off the back wall. Axel's down for that. That ball spiked high. Nobody's getting a touch from Aquinas. Now all in the same general area. That shot just wide, and Gold Zone clearing it out. 30 seconds remain. Potato stopping that. Stocks' challenge does not work out. Gold Zone heading back as Ryguy takes a challenge. Good touch to keep it away from Axel Oso. Stocks being very aggressive on that. Good decision. He's going to look to drop it down to Gold Zone, who puts it wide. Ryguy with an opportunity. Last 10 seconds. If he can get this goal, it may seal it. But now Stout is going to march down in the final seconds. That ball is up. It's wide. Ryguy does get a touch on that. Saves it. Gold Zone. Possibly a calculated fake. 
Aquinas taking game three. Aquinas with pressure in that game, 10 shots, but they allowed Stout to come back. Stout four goals on five shots. They started to find their own momentum late in the game and nearly made a comeback. They scored three goals in about a minute to almost complete the comeback, but they needed one more, which they couldn't find. Aquinas shut them down, and now Aquinas will head into this up two to one. Players will join now. Game four, Aquinas up two to one. It's been a very close matchup between these two teams. Every game has been won by only a single goal. Stocks will come up on that, take a shot. It's into the net. Stocks from midfield knocks it in to put Aquinas up. Gold Zone hitting that off the ceiling to leave it for Stocks, who takes the shot. Axel couldn't make the save, and Oso and Potato both out of position, could not get the save. Aquinas up 1-0, only eight seconds in. They're going to want to keep that up. They don't want to falter like they have, or like they had in this previous game. Potato will get a clear out. Gold Zone going to redirect that into his own corner. Good challenge from Oso. Stocks has got to go up for that early. He gets a touch to send it out. Gold Zone, another touch. Potato waiting on the wall, doesn't get a touch. Stocks demos one. Rye Guy up for this, gonna look to pass it back. But both Stocks and Gold Zone waiting back on it. Gold Zone going off the ceiling, uses his flip. Stocks cannot get there in time. And now Rye Guy gotta try to keep this in, and he does successfully. Cannot get that challenge though. Oh, so misses, allowing Gold Zone to try to keep it in. But Potato right back. Rye Guy's gotta race in. Stout not able to get the redirect goal. Oso now has an opportunity. Ryguy just reversing for this. Cannot half flip to catch up to it. Stocks will get it. Look for another touch to get it out, and he does. But Axel right back in. Oso now will not get it. Gold Zone gets enough of it to keep it away. Axel missing. Now Ryguy with an opportunity. He cannot be Oso, but he demos him. Axel towards the other corner. Stocks up on this. Good touch to keep it away from two of them. No boost, can't do anything. Picks up that corner. Now sent back out, Ryguy up on that. Stocks turning quickly on it. He does get the clear. Potato not a good enough touch. Gold zone up early for this. Will kill it, looking for Ryguy. Good challenge from him, keeps it in. Axel looking off of his corner, finds the ball. That clear is gonna be sent out. It's a bit wide. Axel though with the rebound opportunity. It's off the post. Ryguy, dangerous touch. Very nearly own gold. Stocks trying to bully Oso away from the ball. Now with no boost, he'll try to take a challenge. He can't. Axel sending that out. Gold zone coming up on that. He'll hit it off the wall. Cannot find a second touch. Stocks takes enough of a challenge to prevent a shot potato off that side wall. Gold zone is up for that. Halftime here, Aquinas still has just the one goal they scored eight seconds in. It's been much more even since then. Ryguy up on this, takes a challenge that bounces away from Stocks, and now Axel and Oso both have opportunities. They both fell out of the way, not quite sure what happened on that. Ryguy demos one, Oso allowing Gold Zone to get an opportunity, but he misses off the corner. Now Stocks looking for his own touch. I think Ryguy was in there too, and neither of them found it. Axel. Oso trying to send that out. Ryguy reversing for that. Potato looking for a demo. Cannot find one. Good challenge from Gold Zone. We'll send that out. Cannot find a touch. Neither can Axel. And the shot is stopped. Oso clearing that out. Beats Ryguy to it. He'll pick up the mid and go after it again. Good challenge, but Stocks there to stop that over towards Gold Zone. Right guy has to turn on this, and he does. Takes a wide turn, just hits it towards the mid. Gold Zone, great 
Demo slows that down on a great challenge from Raigai, trying to wave dash out of there. Good. Demo again. Stocks looking for a second touch. Gets it past the gold zone. Middle of the net. Aquinas finally gets their insurance goal with a minute 14 remaining. Looking to take this match. Great team play all around. Raigai sending it out. Stocks with the pass over to gold zone. Off kickoff that will have a chance. Axel doesn't have any boost to catch up to it. Potato passing it towards Oso. Shot is stopped by Gold Zone, but two of them committed. Potato got bumped. And Raiga with a good challenge. Stocks is up for this. It looks like, yep, Oso does beat him to it. That shot is, oh my gosh, stopped by Raiga. I couldn't tell if it was wide, but he makes the stop either way. Oso sending that up. Gold Zone towards Stocks. Redirect, Potato stops that. Gold Zone picking up the mid, trying to challenge Axel, and he does. Oh, so smartly choosing to keep that on the ground. Stocks get the touch out. Raigai looking for a redirect, and he does. 30 seconds remain. Wisconsin Stout still needs two. That ball will go off the side wall. Potato over towards Oso. But that's wide, and now 15 seconds left. It appears that Aquinas will take this match, especially as they now have offense. 10 seconds remain. It's all but certain now, unless they score immediately. Aquinas is going to take the match versus University of Wisconsin Stout. 3-1, to one, that ball touches the ground. It's official. Aquinas takes the match. Close match it was. This was the only game where... The score was decided by more than a single goal. Game one went into overtime before Stocks won it. Game two won by the Blue Devils before Aquinas wins game three and four to take the match. Only three shots from Wisconsin in that game. Six from Aquinas. They got the early goal and didn't find their next for another Three and a half minutes or so, but either way, they seal it. They win it here. We'll go to a short break. The next match scheduled to start at 9.15 p.m. I will turn on some music. I will see you guys here soon.
There's a distance between us It's getting hard to reach out Haven't seen you in seasons But all I hear is your voice I know my limits You can break me down but Stay till the finish line And I've been counting minutes For quite some time now Just to see you again And I've been counting days To get away To see you again See you again
open eye Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized By the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Chemicals collide Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight Dripping lights Paint the sky There's a distance between us It's getting hard to reach out Haven't seen you in seasons But all I hear is your voice I know my limits You can break me down but I'll stay till the finish line And I've been counting minutes for quite some time now Just to see you again And I've been counting days to get away
Welcome back, everybody. The second match is about to get going here. I apologize for the way it appeared that Concordia didn't have a first game. It was their bye. So because of that, obviously, they'll just choose to start at the normal time to get themselves warmed up. We will hop into this game against Concordia University. This is the one from Wisconsin. This isn't the one from Ann Arbor, only a couple hours away. And do I see a battle bus? I think I do. Who is that? Is Two Dog Lucky rocking the battle bus in this game? You will also notice that Spanx has subbed in. He is replacing stocks in this game. This Concordia team is coming in with a 1 and 3 record. As I said, they had their bye. They obviously didn't play Aquinas coming in 4 and 1. They did combine for a pinch. That is an opportunity all the way down. Big Z, credit for the goal. But a pinch between him and Two Dog Lucky results in Concordia going up first. As I was saying, Aquinas obviously coming in with a 4 and 1 record. They just took the game against UW Stout. Rag guy up for this. He's beaten by Big Z. Spanx challenges him. Big Z does get a touch as it hits the ground. He has no boost now, tries to go up for it. Rag guy down for Spanx. Good challenge taken, Two Dog Lucky up that corner. One misses, now Gold Zone turning on it. He'll hit it away from one. Big Z back passing it. He's gonna turn out on himself, but he falls out of the way. Sphinx gonna look for a pass. He doesn't hit it, he actually leaves it for Rye Guy in its own gold by Concordia. Rye Guy credit for the goal. Spanks into the corner. All Rye Guy does is get a touch here. Bounces off that back wall, and I think that was green. Getting a touch, Green Echo getting a touch to own goal it, and now we are tied back up. Off of kickoff, that's into the corner, Big Z. 
will have an opportunity on it. That was Spanks racing in, could not get there. Gold zone, gold zone shot is stopped. Ryguy bumping him out of the way. He'll pick up the corner as Gold Zone goes after that. Ryguy now going up after it takes a shot straight at Big Z, who clears it into his own corner. Two dog up for this. Gold Zone not able to make contact. Big Z will stop that and collect it. Gold Zone bumping one out of the way. Ryguy can't get up for it. Spanks turning now. He will beat Two Dog to it. He's going to look for another touch. Good pass to Ryguy. Shot is on target. Aquinas up two to one now. a great job from Spanks beating Green Echo to it. He got demoed for it, but it didn't matter as the pass mid was wide open and Ryguy knocks that in. Off of kickoff, Big Z's gonna have an opportunity for this. Gold Zone is there to stop that it's into his own corner. Ryguy up, beats Green Echo. Two dog lucky, he does get up to it. Now Spanks is gonna look for a pass. Actually, he redirects that towards the net. Gold Zone, can he clean it up? He cannot. But Ryguy will straight down the center, 3-1. Spanks, I thought, was looking for a pass, and Bigsy had a great save. But his clear wasn't good enough. Instead, he hits it directly to Ryguy into the net. Now, 3-1 Aquinas. They went down early, but they're starting to find their footing in this game. Green Echo off the ceiling. Spanks collecting that, gets it by two dog. He's gonna look to get it by Big Z. He does not, Ryguy though, will send it back. Spanks is gonna look for a back pass towards Gold Zone after Ryguy gets a touch Gold Zone up for that. Big Z will be there. Spanks back into the corner, beats two dog. Lucky, that's something that Spanks is so good at. He gets that first touch and races up after it to beat the second defender to it as well. Two Dog will collect that boost. Gold Zone with very little left. Gets his reset and uses it to pass it to Ryguy into the net. Oh my gosh, Gold Zone doing what he can with little boost. Got his reset to send that off the back wall. And Ryguy cleans that up. 4 1, not even halftime. And Aquinas is starting to roll. Off of kickoff, Two Dog's going to have an opportunity on this Gold Zone. If he got a touch, it wasn't good enough to beat it, but it is sent back down now. Ryguy trying to do something here. We'll collect that corner boost. Concordia double committed for that. Gold Zone's bumped and cannot follow it up, but Spanks will. Gets his reset, but Ryguy with a shot. Perfect leave for him. Aquinas up 5-1. Five, five unanswered goals now. Spanks, I think, got his reset, but couldn't use it, but it didn't matter. Ryguy with a banger towards the top of the net. Aquinas up 5-1. Still 2-16 remain in game one. That ball off a of kickoff is going to be wide, but it allows Aquinas to go on offense first. Ryguy cannot find the touch. Spanks will get a good challenge. Too far out for gold zone. Now he'll take, the, take it up the wall. He'll fall on the boost as two dog comes down on top of him. Ryguy now up. Big Z, good touch to clear it out. Gold zone for that, he's gonna go up for it. That'll be cleared back out. Green Echo uses the last of his boost, can't find any, and now it's shot up. Ryguy's gonna look to clear it, he doesn't. Big Z's touch is too soft. Spanks all the way down, that has an opportunity. Dog with a good save, but a double commit is gonna make Concordia pay as Gold Zone knocks it in. Both of them went up for that ball. And that allows Gold Zone to have a wide open net, which he fully takes advantage of. Finds up 6-1. Six, 6 unanswered now after Concordia got an amazing pinch to start off the game. They do have an opportunity now, but Big Z will send that back into the corner, allowing Spanks to collect that. Flicks it up to get it by one. I think Gold Zone got a touch on that. Spanks leaving it for Ryguy. Good touch. He's going to look to flip into it. He cannot. Two Dog carrying this out, beats Spanks. Gold Zone with an opportunity towards Spanks. Pass down for, oh my gosh, he went after that himself. I thought he was leaving it for Ryguy, but Gold Zone cleaning it up anyway. Aquinas puts the Brazil on Concordia, but with a minute eight remaining, it's just a matter of how much they're gonna score at this point. Spanks had a great second touch. I thought he was gonna leave that for either Gold Zone or Ryguy coming in. But instead, it hits again, and Gold Zone cleans it up. Great kickoff from Ryguy. Spanks cheating up on that kickoff. 
nearly made him pay. Gold Zone with an opportunity passes it to Spanks. Top and out. Ball just a bit high. They pinch on it. Gold Zone is beaten by Big Z. That ball off the rim will slow things down. Right guy doesn't get a touch, but Spanks is the only one there. Beats Big Z to it. Two Dog the only one up as Green Echo tries to race back for it. Good challenge from Gold Zone. Green Echo will be there. He'll put the ball on target. Rye Guy is there. Great save. Spanx looking to get it, but Big Z beats him to it. Two Dog lucky gets a touch that sends it all the way to the other side, allowing Spanx to get an opportunity. Big Z looked for a demo, couldn't find one. Spanx back passing as he falls down. Nobody there for that. Big Z down, Spanx turning on it, Two Dog towards the mid, Gold Zone is there first, good clear out, and in the final seconds, we'll see if Aquinas can score again, but it's going to result in a game one victory for the Saints, scored at least, se it will be 7-7 seven, seven unanswered to take the game. Thirteen shots from Aquinas, only four from Concordia. One of them was that incredible pinch between Big Z and Two Dog. That was the first goal to start us off, only about twenty seconds into the game. But from there, it was all Aquinas scoring seven unanswered goals. Teams accidentally hopped into the wrong color but we will hop into game one I just realized that I did not get the overlay set up properly let me get that going there we go that's back spanks off the ceiling for gold zone shot is in two dog hanging up high and who was that was that green echo it was down low could not find it neither of them two dog tried to just fall off green echo was a bit too front post on that. Two dog towards the back wall. Gold zone just waiting on it. He does not beat him to it. Two dog did change out of that battle bus. That shot is going to be wide and pushed off to the side. Gold zone with an opportunity now. He's going to back pass that to Rye Guy. Good touch. Sends it all the way down, but Green Echo. As that cleaned up easily, he'll try to look for another touch. He doesn't find one. Gold Zone takes a great challenge with zero boost. Now Spanx with an opportunity. He's not beat Big Z, who's going to send it into the corner. Two Dog beats Rye Guy now has a chance, but that ball is high and over. Green Echo looking to get a pass, but Gold Zone hitting that up. Looking for Rye Guy. Big Z was there as well. Gold Zone turning, cannot get a touch. Nobody from Concordia was there to threaten right away, though. That ball off the corner towards Gold Zone. Shot into the net. Gold Zone gets insurance for Aquinas, who have now scored nine unanswered goals in this match at this rate. It's their match. Only just over a minute in. Right guy off. That side wall, Two Dog gets a soft touch. It allows Spanx to do something with it. He's going to look to flick it into the net, but Big Z with a great save. Nobody from Aquinas is able to get up to that in time. Now Two Dog tries to get something off the corner. It doesn't work out. Big Z misses. So does Two Dog. Everybody misses. Gold Zone. I don't think was expecting that. Rye Guy will have an opportunity to clean it up, and he does. 3-0 Aquinas. Only three and a, or still three and a half left in this game absolutely rolling in this one great shot from him everybody too far up from Concordia and he takes advantage of it that ball is up right guy waiting on it actually gold zone both him gold zone has an opportunity but his shot is just wide great pass back towards Spanx but two dog their first right guy forced to retreat Gets a great challenge. That ball pinches out and Gold Zone looking for a touch off the floor. He gets one. Cannot bump Big Z enough to get him off the ball. Now Two Dog will have a chance to clear it out. It's a bit too soft, but Green Echo is there. Gold Zone hitting that up. 
Spanks down with a shot. Great save from Big Z. Holds on blowing right through him. Now Ragai in an awkward spot. Green Echo. Shot taken from Two Dog. Goes off the post. Concordia finally gets a goal after 10 unanswered goals. Now down by just two and still plenty of time to make a comeback. Aquinas can't think that they have it in the bag just yet. Big Z does not get a second touch. Spanks keeps that away from Gold Zone, who's try gonna try to get a clear straight out. He's now gonna pass it to Gold Zone. Actually, Rye Guy getting a touch on that. Spanks coming up on it. Good touch to pass it, but nobody is there. Rye Guy pushing up now. Great challenge to keep it in. Great demo from Gold Zone, and another one. Spanks trying to race up on that. Rye Guy luckily gets a touch, otherwise, it was free real estate for Concordia. Gold zone now off the side wall. He's looking for a second touch over to Spanks, looking for the redirect in. It's going to be pushed wide. Gold zone bullying Green Echo. Rye guy pushing that high. Big Z now getting a clear out. Gold zone great challenge, but he doesn't get a touch on it. That ball sent all the way out. Pass down is much too powerful. Big Z now loses control of the ball, allowing Spanks to get a touch to keep it in. Gold Zone's up for this, slams it straight down. Rye Guy hitting that up, going after himself, sending it all the way down. Spanks looking for the rebound. Oh my gosh, Two Dog with an incredible save. Prevents that ball from entering the net. Gold Zone back in, however. Spanks with an opportunity. That ball soft enough. Or a bit soft, I should say, but doesn't matter as nobody's in the net. Absolutely nobody. Green Echo and Big Z were both upfield on that. Spanks, all he's got to do is put it on target. He does. And now 4 1 Aquinas. Off of kickoff. Spanks is going to look for it. Powerful shot is in the net. A defender was sitting right behind the goal line, but that ball at 76 miles an hour, much too powerful to catch up to. Not only that, that was Big Z in the net. He was falling as the ball entered. I couldn't see if he got bumped, but because he wasn't recovered enough, that ball off of kickoff straight in, Rye Guy. Oh my gosh, pinches it off of kickoff. We have to look at this. Oh, we don't get the greatest view. Yes, he just pinches it off of Two Dog and straight into the net. Right guy off looking for Gold Zone. A bit too far up for him. Right guy looking for bumps. He doesn't find any, but Gold Zone's able to keep that in. That ball shot up. Spanks is up for it. Going to look for a redirect. It's on target. Big Z and another defender double committed for it. Gold zone. Smart send to that side wall. But Two Dog is still going to have an opportunity. Oh, Rye Guy almost had the save. But he wasn't there in time. Oh, he gets the touch as the ball fully enters the net. But with 36 seconds remaining in this game, down by four, unless they pull off an incredible miracle. And it's not going to happen if Aquinas gets shots off of kickoff. Aquinas will take this game under 30 seconds remaining, putting all the pressure on. A bit too far up for that. Now, Two Dog will have an opportunity, but he pushes it wide, and doing that is not going to help Concordia in any way. Big Z's going to try to drop this down for Green Echo. That was a great pass. 13 seconds remaining. Technically still a chance, but it really can only be achieved if you get three of those pinch kickoff goals that Rye Guy found. Either way, it was a much better game from Concordia than game one where they got the first goal and then proceeded to give up seven more. But that will do it here. They will not be able to find offense in the final few seconds. They might have a chance right here, but it doesn't matter. Gold zone allowing that to touch the ground. Aquinas up 
2-0 in this match. Fourteen shots in that one from Aquinas. Concordia still with four. They were able to find the back of the net a lot more. They were able to pick apart Aquinas' defense a bit, where in game one, their only goal came out on that just very, I shouldn't say lucky, but that pinch that they got. This one, they had a bit more offense going for them. It doesn't matter as Aquinas still takes it and will head into game three with a 2-0 Gold zone off of kickoff is going to look to do something with that. He gets his reset, but Two Dog is there in time. Spanks cleaning that up. Aquinas doing exactly what they did in game one, going up 1 0 early. Gold zone got his reset, was not able to use it, but nobody in the net. Big Z trying to race back for it. Finds it either way. Aquinas up 1 0. Gold zone forced to retreat on kickoff as Two Dog will have an opportunity. Rye guy, keeping that up, he's gonna go after it himself. Good pass for Spanx. Now a challenge sends it into the corner. Two Dog doesn't get a touch, and he finally does. But this allows Spanx to do something. Top of the net, but it's barred. Doesn't matter, Riot Guy is there to clean it up. They're doing a great job of that, taking advantage of these rebound opportunities. Riot Guy there for that one off of Spanx's pass. 2-0 now, just over 30 seconds into this. The Saints absolutely rolling in this match. Good push past one defender. Spanx looking for a redirect, does not Make contact, Ryguy pushing early, and now Two Dog has a wide open net. Ooh, that was close. I thought he was gonna get another touch and push it wide, but he gets the goal, cuts the deficit in half. Ryguy, try to be aggressive for that, it didn't work out. Off of kickoff, that's a bit wide. Green Echo pushes that back towards the middle. That's kind of dangerous as now Spanx has an opportunity, but he is demoed. Two Dog has no boost. Can't do anything right here. Still has no boost, but he manages to flick it past one. Spanx to keep that in. Ryguy trying to push up on this now. Instead chooses to rotate back. That ball, Green Echo has a chance, but he sends it high. Big Z takes a challenge, but it doesn't work out. Spanx off the wall, uses his flip to push it to Ryguy, whose shot is high and wide. Gold zone there to get a challenge. Spanx bullying through people. Allows Ryguy now to try and do something. Green Echo misses, Big Z up for it, but Spanx with an opportunity. Green Echo, good play to get there in time. Spanx up early for that, chose not to go up the wall. That's down for gold zone, Ryguy there. Ryguy pushes Big Z out of the way. Now Spanx sends it back in. Two Dog again up for this. Gold Zone up. He's beaten though. Ryguy was up early for that. Spanx allows Ryguy to get a touch. Off the wall. Does not beat. Two Dogs. That ball sent out towards the other side. Ryguy takes a good challenge to slow it down. Now Gold Zone sending it out. Big Z over towards the back wall. Miscommunication. I think Gold Zone thought Spanx would go after that. Doesn't seem to affect them too much, as now Ryguy will send that off the corner. Spanks towards Ryguy, but Two Dog is there first. Concordia doing a much better job in this game, even more so than game two. Keeping it close, having much more offense, but that ball is not well placed as Gold Zone's shot is wide. Ryguy with an open net in front of him fully takes advantage of that. Green Echo, that was not the greatest touch, and you can see he immediately realized it. He tried to chase after Gold Zone, was not able to get there in time, and Gold Zone got the pass over to Ryguy, who puts it in. Aquinas up 3-1 to one in this, just over halftime. As I was saying, Concordia is having much more pressure, though, making it much tougher for Aquinas to find goals. But Concordia is going to have to do some of their own. Ryguy cannot... 
get around on that in time. Green Echo will be able to clear this out, but it's straight to Gold Zone, who sends it off the wall towards Spanks. Redirect, double committed. Can Gold Zone get there in time? He does, but he misses the shot. That is tough when you're racing in that fast. He does get the touch there to send it up and slow things down. Two dogs sending it out. Because he does not get the touch as he falls. Gold Zone with a powerful clear. Gets another touch towards middle. Right guy, great challenge. Gold Zone up for this. Gonna slam it off the backboard looking for Spanks, who's there. Shot. Two dog racing out of that net makes the save. Right guy, great challenge. Spanks turning now. Great touch past Big Z. Cannot get the second. But Gold Zone will be there towards Rye Guy. Redirect. Cannot make contact. Green Echo into the corner. Gold Zone stealing that corner. Air dribbling it towards Spanks. Oh my gosh. Wait. Hold on. I got to watch this again. I don't know if I saw something wrong. Did they pinch this? They did. Oh my gosh. I thought Gold Zone left it for Spanks to take the shot. Instead, they pinch. And up four, what, five, one now as Gold Zone gets the kickoff. But oh my gosh, I cannot get over that goal. Gold Zone with a perfect, a picture perfect air dribble to Spanx. And I mean, you almost got to give credit on that goal to Spanx. If Spanx wasn't there, obviously he can't find that. He's going parallel to the net. But instead they pinch. And Gold Zone just so happens to get the last touch. He gets credit for the goal. Spanks basically setting it up. Aquinas up 5-1 in this. Back pass from Gold Zone. Two Dog will be there. Now into the corner, but with 40 seconds remaining in Concordia, not getting as much pressure as they had. They will have an opportunity now. Good second touch from Big Z, but Spanks is there. About 30 seconds remain in this. Aquinas is probably going to take this match, or take this game, I should say, and take the match. Everybody's slowing down a bit here. Rai guy, good touch out. If Goldzone can get up to that, he cannot. Steals their corner. Rai guy can't get there, doesn't matter. Big Z's up, misses the touch, and with 10 seconds remaining, Aquinas is going to sweep Concordia University. Spanks looking to put some more salt in the wound. Everybody's slowing down here. Rye Guy looking for one for the road. Maybe a double tap, but it's wide. Aquinas winning game three, five to one in the match in a 3-0 sweep versus Concordia. Oh, wow. Concordia only with one shot. They had so much more pressure in that game. They had the ball in Aquinas' defensive half much more than they had in the previous games, but they only came away with one shot, and I didn't even realize that. Aquinas came away with 12, putting all the pressure on, scoring many goals in this match. And they do take it, and they will move to 5-1 and one on the season in Nace. That will do it for us tonight, however. We will be back Thursday night. It will be another hectic night. I'm not sure if it will be another quadruple header or what we'll have in store for you, but I'm pretty sure we will still be completing and play versus, and MEC is definitely then as well. So we'll see you Thursday night for at least two matches. We'll let you know if there's any more, but I will catch you guys Thursday.